Princess Caroline of Monaco, a tragic figure since the death of her husband. But as she keeps his memory alive, there's another husband and wicked past Caroline is about to erase. Where is the girl I used to know? Princess Caroline of Monaco. Could you lose that happy glow? Oh, Caroline, A woman whose public image has been changed drastically by tragedy. From wild party girl... to new First Lady of Monaco. From happy mother and wife... to tragic widow. But of all the change in her life, one mistake in her past has haunted Caroline to this day. Her first marriage to Playboy Philippe Junot. Macho, macho it was the peak of the jet-setting disco 70s, and Caroline was one wild young lady. She was the party princess, the topless sunbathing out all night good time gal who got hooked up with a much older, wild and crazy swinging Playboy. They dated very publicly. And Philippe carried on in discotheques. He dropped his pants in one discotheque, and he poured a bottle of champagne over his head in another. And then he and Caroline went out on a yacht, and they were photographed nude on the deck with Philippe kissing Caroline's breasts, and they were in all the newspapers in Europe. And it was very embarrassing for Grace. When the fog lifted, Caroline was hitched to Philippe Junot. The marriage was not blessed by her father or her mother, the beautiful Princess Grace. Grace knew what these men were like. The marriage lasted a year and a half, and before the divorce decree was dry, Caroline became obsessed with having the marriage annulled by the Vatican, meaning that in the eyes of her church, it never happened. But it would take two to untangle this mess, and Genoa was bitter, refusing to go along with the annulment. Despite ten years of arm twisting, all of Prince Rainier's connections and money couldn't get the Pope's people to give his daughter a break. The church is resistant because they don't want it to seem that because she's the princess of Monaco and she has a lot of in uh, influence, that she can get an annulment at the drop of a hat. Caroline's next wedding to the young daredevil Stefano Casaraggi was not recognized by the Pope. That means that, in the eyes of the church, Caroline's three children are illegitimate. A shame for any woman, let alone the figurehead of the most glamorous locale in Europe. Meanwhile, Caroline's little sister, Stephanie, had inherited her legacy of public embarrassment. But so far, Stephanie has escaped Caroline's worst pitfall, a playboy's ring around her finger. But now, incredibly, Philippe Junot has apparently taken pity on his old child bride. Society columnist William Norwich reports Junot and Caroline have met three times in Paris. Junot, who's remarried, has agreed to testify at the Vatican backing Caroline's request for an annulment. And author James Spada, the world's authority on Royal Monaco, says she just might get it this time. What's going to get her the annulment is sort of a blameless life from now on. Um, she's a widow. She has three small children. Um, I think it's going to be her example as a person that's going to make the church feel justified in uh, granting this annulment. The annulment could go through by summer. Caroline's most precious marriage would be recognized by the church, and so would her precious children. What's next? Well, that depends on if you believe the hot column in the London Sunday paper. It says Caroline has her daddy's okay to become ambassador to Washington, that she is thinking of moving to America, and that she's buying property in her mother's hometown, Philadelphia. She wants to get closer to her roots. A move to America with Caroline's history anything's possible. Odd, isn't it? What we want to hear most about royalty is how different their lifestyle is from ours, how similar their problems are. Now, a shocking new development in the Miss January murder. More on that in a moment.